Hi, welcome back to my channel. We're going to dive right in. Um, I've been in my Bible study time and I just kind of want to share with you uh, what's been placed on my heart. So I'm thinking, you know, I can start recording more during my study times. I usually don't. I usually just wait. But then I'll kind of like lose what it is that I wanted to share. So I'm going to try to get in the habit to share when I feel led to share, like in that moment. So I'm reading in Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 45. Um, well, I've read, I'm reading mostly all of chapter 6, but that's just kind of like what I want to focus on in this video. And I'm reading the New King James Version. And it says, for a good tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bramble bush. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. So, I just kind of like want to bring to your attention because it was brought to mind for us to kind of just focus on what's coming out of our mouths. Um, many times we speak on things and we think that the things that we say reflect, um, you know, reflect poorly on other people or other situations, but sometimes it speaks more about us than it does about other people. It can kind of expose, you know, areas within you where you thought you were healed and you're not quite healed or, um, just things that you're struggling with internally, but you make it seem to other people that you're not. And so this really, really um, spoke to me because I know a lot of times when I talk about certain things that I could be, you know, really passionate, really passionate. And sometimes I'll be thinking like, okay, I have a reason to feel how I feel. You know, if somebody has wronged you or, you know, has done something to you or said something to you and you just feel the need to speak about it and to be petty and I you know sometimes can have the tendency to be really petty and I'm working on that and I'm praying that the Holy Spirit helps me with it with that like truly like I'm smiling but I'm so serious like I'm noticing that you know there are things that I'm not healed from that I thought that I was and it, it'll bring up like angerness and bitterness out of me, you know, and I don't want that. I don't want that because it says again, more about what's going on inside of me internally. Um, I could be saying on the outside, you know, oh, I'm okay. I'm this and I'm that. But nah, the words that's coming out is saying something different. You know what I mean? And I also, you know, just want to take the time to pay attention to the words that I speak. I believe for the most part, like I'm very uplifting, I'm very encouraging. So people have told me, you know, and I try to do that. I try to do that day in and day out and be a light to other people. But you know, time there's times we slip up, there's times we we petty, there's sometimes we being in businesses we don't have no business being in. You know what I mean? Like we we all have done it, we all do it, you know, and so it's something that we need to work on and again it's it's it when we do those things it kind of destroys you know what god is trying to do he's trying to tell us like okay these are the same this is the same mouth that you speak blessings out of you want to speak cursing you know curses out of it you want to be um you want to be bitter you want to be angry like that's not that's not bringing me glory. That's not bringing anything glory. And that's actually eating you up inside. And it's making you look a certain way. You know what I mean? So that's just something I want to work on. I want to spend more time um, talking about just more empowering things, things that, that matter. Again, like I said, I feel like I do that for the most part. But there's still areas like I, I truly want to be healed from. And I don't want to waste my energy, my time, or my words on those things anymore genuinely and so i just wanted to share this video today is there something that you find yourself like why i keep talking about this or why when i do talk about this i'm talking about it a certain way what's going on with me internally and i think this verse is about getting to the root of 
just get into the root of that, you know, really, really checking your heart and make sure the things that are coming out of your mouth are matching what's going on inside in a good way. You know what I mean? A good, a good, pure way. And yeah, I just, I just, that's just so important. It's just so important. I mean, this verse is pretty self-explanatory, you know, and a lot of us will say like, oh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But we do. We're going to, you're going to be judged by the things that you say and the things that you do in your actions. You know, you can go into a workplace, you can go to a school, wherever it is that you attend. We tend to categorize people in a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, there's the you know the real humble person there's a the funny person there's that person that always has an attitude and they're always complaining and they're never happy about anything you know what i mean like for the most part whatever you're giving off is because there's something going on in here and i guess what i'm trying to say in this video well not i guess what i am trying to say is let's start getting to the root of what's going on in here and that's something we could be praying about. Like, if you genuinely don't know, like, maybe you just wake up each day and you're like, why am I so angry? Why am I so upset? Why am I struggling with this discontentment? Because I, you know, I have been struggling with, well, still do at times and moments, uh, discontentment. You know what I mean? And I'm like, why, with everything going on around me and everything that I have, why do I just keep allowing that? Why? What's going on? You know what I mean? Why do I keep... Um, getting emotional about things that happened so many years ago like I need to get to the root of that and I don't want that to pour out of me you know I don't want people to encounter me and feel like oh she she need to handle all of that that she got going on because she's just giving off this energy that's just like unyield you know what I mean so yeah that's that's pretty much what I, I got from this so you know if we look at your tree what kind of fruit are you bearing like, what are you giving off? What are you giving off? You know, if you're feeling bold, ask the people around you. Like, hey, when you encounter me, um, what, what type of fruit am I bearing? And what can I work on? You know, what good fruits am I bearing? And what are some bad fruits that I'm bearing? You know, so like I said, this is just really leading me to uh, pray. I've been praying about it to just uproot things out of my heart. Uproot anything out of my heart that's unlike Jesus. Uproot anything out of my heart that's causing me to just bear, you know, that bad fruit and um, help me to just get to the root and heal. Just help me to heal. And I'm going to be paying attention to my words these next couple of days, like seriously zooming into my words and um, when I speak, being mindful of what's going on in here. And I want to challenge you guys to do this with me as well. Um, I'm going to try to do it for the next 30 days. Really, we should be doing this every single day of our life, you know, but um, I'm making it a, a goal. I'm making it my focus that these next 30 days, I'm going to truly, genuinely pay attention to the words that's coming out of my mouth, no matter who it is that I'm talking to or no matter what it is that I'm doing. I'm going to be focusing on my words and I'm going to be focusing on um, how I'm feeling and what's going on inside when I speak those words. And um, also, I want to pay attention to how my words affect other people. Like I said, I love encouraging people. I love pouring into people and uh, like motivating people. But I, I want to make sure that I'm doing that more and I'm being more intentional about that and um, watch the kind of conversations that I, I have, you know, so hopefully, you know, sorry, my alarm just went off, but yeah, hopefully we could do this challenge together and that you can also read when you get some time. Like I said, I'm going to try to come on and um, do some more. I'm not going to put a schedule on here because I don't know. I don't know when I'm coming, <laughs> but um, I, I, I'm going to do my best to record when I feel led and when something's coming to me. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.